How's it going, everyone? My name is Mustang, and welcome back to some more Beam and G Drive. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at two, count them, two car mods that have been added to this game. And, well, you're kind of looking at, looking at them right now. Now, I know what you're thinking. These look like a Roamer and an H series with maybe slightly customized rims but no they are a lot more than that because these in fact are the burnside commander and the burnside m series yes so apparently this is what burnside is making in the modern day but before we dive deep into what these mods have to offer here remember if you're enjoying this game on the channel and you want to see more hey be sure to leave a like on the video also are you down there hey also consider subscribing now as for the outside view these uh vehicles don't look that much the same. Oh, they do have some subtle differences to the normal vehicles. The Commander is obviously based on the Roamer, and the M series is based on the H series. And there are some different design cues. Like the lights are not as rounded, they're a lot more boxy. They look a lot more Cadillac y here on the Commander. And this also has a bit of slight body molding like here i don't think this is on the regular roamer like this little line here and if we uh go in here the lights are a lot more uh squared off and as for the inside no there isn't that much different at least not that i can tell i mean there are no rear third there's not a third row of seats it's just the four and there is a burnside an updated burnside logo on the steering wheel and as for the engine it uses the same engine as the roamer now, moving on to the H series, it's got the same sort of a design language. It's got the lights are a bit more squared off. It's got the the updated Burnside logo. Uh, back end is not as different, but it does have a nice little paint scheme on the side, as well as custom rims. And on the interior, ooh, this actually looks quite nice. It's got a different steering wheel with a Burnside logo right here. Nice. But anyways, uh, without further ado, let's start, uh, let's start these babies up and see how they sound. Yes, uh, it's got the V8, and as well as custom lettering, I actually like the, the lettering on this. A lot. Now, as to how they drive... I mean, they drive... This thing drives like a roamer. I mean, it's, it literally is a roamer. It's an up bad for roamer. Oh, I was hoping they were they would have added like a bit more to the interior. You know? Because you know, Burnside is supposed to be the luxury brand of Gavril. We're just gonna go over here. And I doesn't really get the point across when the interior looks literally exactly the same. Anyways. Yeah, the lights do work as they should. Oh, okay. I mean, it's durable like the Roamer, although now there is a large pulse to the left. I'm trying to move right now. Up oh, and yeah, I think I've killed the truck. Hey, look at the damage ball. It looks pretty good. I mean, it is basically a an up abs Roamer, so. Nothing too surprising there. Anyways, moving on to the H series, let's uh, see how uh, this thing drives. Now, this thing does have a beam navigator in in on the interior. I want to think that this is a lot newer, and the uh, cops are uh, boxing me in here. Uh, they think I'm still in the rover, but nobody has switched vehicles. Okay, I literally cannot get out. I'm going to need to. Uh, excuse me, guys. There we go. Anyways, as for how this thing drives, I mean, this H series actually looks a lot, a little bit longer than the regular H series. I don't know if that's just me or what, but it's nice.
But hey, this thing actually, uh, this thing actually moves. Ooh. Whoops, I did not mean to do that at all. Oh, but it still drives. Oh, that does not look good. <laughs> okay, I think that might be a bug. Uh, yeah. A little bit of artifacting going on with the seats there. I'm actually surprised because it's literally like an up added H series. But yeah, there's a look at the damage. Very interesting crash there. Okay, right, you know, let's uh bring this. Okay, you know what? Let's uh move this back over here. Oh, that's not how I want it. There we go. Anyways, as for the configurations of each of these vehicles, you're gonna find the commander under the roamer. We go down here and click on the roamer. We have quite a few. We have Burnside Commander SX two wheel drive, and then a four wheel drive version as well, which is this this one we're in right now. And there's actually an Australian market one. We'll have to take a look at that in a minute. Obviously, you got the regular wheel based versions along with the long wheel based versions, and as well as some special editions like we have the Donk version. We have a uh, the uh, the government special, like kind of like a the motorcade, if you will. Oh, uh, let's see what else we have. A uh, XXL two wheel drive, four wheel drive. We have four wheel drive and two wheel drive drive versions of pretty much each configuration, except for uh, configurations configurations like the government special. Now, as for the H series, there are actually multiple generations. We have a. Uh, this one which has different yeah there are different um facelifts for the the m series we have a this one the full drive passenger version this is the one we're in right now extended long base i'm guessing that's what elb stands for and uh let's see we have a yeah the mule burnside m350 full drive b10 Ooh, okay that will be interesting uh, we have the VIP van. And that seems to be it. Yeah, let's actually take a look at uh, the original van here. I don't know about the front bumper. That looks a bit strange. <laughs> yeah, you can see how uh, it's uh, slightly different. It's got tinted windows, too. Well, I didn't even know those were a thing in the game. Yeah, it looks very nice. I just think this is these are nice additions to the game because I would feel like that Burnside is the brand out of all the brands that are in the game, Burnside is the brand that we know the least about. Because it's only got one car and that's it. Like Bruckle's got three, Jarrell has a ton, and so does a Bishu. ETK has a few, Chavetta has two, like you know, it's like the odd one out, if you will. All right, wh what am I looking for? Oh yeah, right, the H series. Oh, flip. I uh, accidentally uh, spawned in the default configuration. My bad. Also, sorry if I'm yawning a lot. I don't know why I'm yawning so much. I I, I literally just woke up. I, I feel wide awake. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the Passenger version, the M350 extended ELB. Oh, oh, okay. We have a sport version. Let's take a look at this. Ooh, fancy. This looks cool. Okay, it's got just the two seats. Don't know what you would use this for. It's a luxury van. Oh. It sounds like he uses the V10 for the Chantilla. That's actually kind of funny. Excuse me, ow, sorry. I want to take this thing to the highway. Let's see how well it does there.
I mean, you can do burnouts pretty good. They're slow burnouts, but they're still burnouts. Okay, let's just uh, teleport over to the highway. And here we go. Oh, whoops, I accidentally took a screenshot. Anyways, here we go. Let's do a top speed run here. Alright. We're actually just past 100 miles an hour. That's not too bad for a van. Now, yes, and we are still climbing in speed. Can we make it to 140? Oh, I think we will. It's slowly getting there. Uh oh, we might not be able to. Oh, okay. Oh boy, this is gonna be good. Oh, oh, ouch. Yeah, we're probably uh, not gonna walk out of that one unscathed. Dang. Okay, I actually want to see the engine in this thing. Uh, where's the hood release? There it is. Let me take a look at that V10. Oh, yes. Look at that monster. Nice. Okay, you know what? Let's uh, take a look at our convert version of the commander now. Because I want to take a look at that Australian domestic market version. That is interesting. Because look at this. It's got the serial on the right-hand side. Right-hand drive. Look at that. Is there, like, anything else that's different about this? I mean, it is a long wheelbase version. It has a third row of seats. Other than that, no, it seems to be the same car except for the steering wheel being on the opposite side. I mean, it's still cool nonetheless. Anyways, let's take a look at the, uh... Let's take a look at another one. Does this one have, like, a sport version of the Roamer? Is there? I mean, we have the government version. I don't see a, uh... Sport version. I mean, I feel like this is made more for, like, comfort anyway. So I wouldn't be surprised if there just wasn't one. Uh, let's check out the government one. Let, let's, uh... What's so uh, special about this? Uh, does it have, like, hidden flashers? Oh, yeah, it does. Anything uh, special in here? Oh, it's got a navigation unit. It's got all the police equipment. Okay, wait a minute. This thing... Hold on. This thing has something different under the hood. What does this have? Okay, it's got the V10, too. That's cool. I mean, yeah, if, it, if you need to get out, get away in a GIF, I feel like this would be a pretty good vehicle to do it in. Oh, yeah, right. Hold on. I tried to activate the lights. There we go. I mean, they're not that bright compared to, like, the normal lights are. Which I find a bit strange. Hey, you could like set up a convoy of these things. That would actually be pretty cool. This guy's running. That was just purely a coincidence. 
Oh, okay, apparently that deflated our tire, all right. Oh, no, you don't. Okay, the sound's clipping a lot. I don't know why that's happening. Oh, and the suspect is under arrest. Nice. Okay, back to the van, because there are some other variants I want to take a look at. Which... One of them's the VIP version. What does that one look like? Uh, let's see. I'm just, uh... Hold on, I'm just checking here. Uh, I didn't miss anything, did I? No. Oh my god, what is this ride height? <laughs> I'm guessing this is like a party bus or something. It has to be, right? I mean, look at those rims. <laughs> oh, and it's got the V10 too, that's nice to hear. Don't know about the wheels though. Seems a bit strange. Oh God, and this thing has uh, the stiffest suspension known to man, it feels like, ow. still driving up oh, but it's not it's not driving very well albeit yeah I feel like we're gonna overheat the engine by doing this it's fine but yeah I guess the party is over for this VIP bus I guess you could call it a bus but yeah I guess the only thing left to do now is uh take this thing off the car jump arena and see how far uh these two burn sides can fly all right, here we are. We're in the dog version of the uh, the commander here. And I love this description. It literally said, just because you can doesn't mean you should. Which, yeah, understandable. Although I, I, I will admit, it does have a nice color. I will say. Anyway. Here we go. And it's got the V10 as always. Man, this thing actually can get up, go pretty fast. I think they're up around 240, I think. And hitting the ground around 420 meters. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Jesus Christ. All right, come on. Uh, let's nudge you into the pool here. Oh, okay, we're on fire. Okay, we're on. Put the fire out. There we go. All right, it's, uh... The M series is turned. We're gonna turn this off. I mean, yeah, it was really a contest as to why I was gonna use the sport version. It's got the same V10. Anyways, let's do this. I think they ramp around 190. I think that's that. Whoa, that's what it was, and landing around the same distance. That's actually quite interesting. Wow. Guess they don't weigh that much differently. Like one's not that much heavier than the other. Oh, come on. It's basically the same behavior. Hold on. Let's nudge you into the pool. There we go. All right. But that was, those are the Burnside Commander and the Burnside M series. Burnside in the modern day, if you will. If you want to try both of these mods out for yourself, I will leave a link to both of them down in the description below, as always. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Peace.